Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is an in-depth tutorial on setting up Sunshine All-in-One and Moonlight for high performance game streaming on Windows. In this guide we'll walk through the PowerShell based installation of Sunshine All-in-One, configuring its key components and pairing it with Moonlight on a client device. Whether you're streaming to a Steam Deck, a tablet, laptop, or another PC, this setup offers a powerful, flexible alternative to NVIDIA GameStream. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully functional, optimized remote gaming environment ready to go. So let's get right into it. Let's begin with installing Sunshine All-in-One on Windows using PowerShell script. Since the executable installer will be depreciated soon, you want to scroll down to method one, copy the PowerShell code, oh and disable your antivirus if you have any trouble throughout this. You want to right click the start menu, go to Windows PowerShell Admin, right click, it'll paste, and hit enter. On my screen, I'm our, I've already have Git installed, but wait on Git to install and then this will pop up. You want to pick a place to install. Ignore your daddy's message. <laughs> Wait for it to get done. It don't take too long to do this. And here you are. You're at this menu. Now what I did was I selected number one. That installs everything and pre-configures everything right out of the box. You just type one and hit enter. Now I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Now over on your PC, you want to go ahead and open up Sunshine to set up a username and password. I already have one set, so it's not going to look the same, um, but it's very simple. You hit advanced, proceed to local host, and right here it's going to ask you to put your password and stuff in after you've done made it. Uh, you go ahead and put your username and password in. I normally like to use admin admin for mine, so it's easy. Um, people don't really have access to it, so it doesn't really matter. But you can use whatever you want. Just be sure to save it. And you want to go ahead and close out of your browser before entering anything. Now, over on your device, you want to go to whatever store corresponds to your device and download Moonlight. Here, I'm on Android. I go to Play Store and download Moonlight. So this is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, Steam Deck, and Chrome OS. So um, if you can't find it, just Google it. When you open the app, if you're on the same network, your computer should pop right up. If you touch it, it'll give you a code. Now over to your PC. You will see a little pop-up on the bottom right. You click it and you enter your credentials. Now I'm gonna show you another way to get to this spot if you wanna add more devices in the future. Let me start it back up on my phone. Okay, you see that pop up, we're not gonna do that. You open tests right here and hit, right click sunshine and hit, it, hit open sunshine. Log in with your credentials. You go to pin and then type that number in that you see on your device. And you name it whatever you want to name it. And it's as easy as that. So over on your device, we're going to go ahead and walk through some settings here. Just follow along. You want to change the resolution to your native resolution. You want to change video frame pacing to balanced. Your frame rate to 120. Stretch video to full screen. These are just things that I like to have. You don't have to change these if you don't want to. The first three settings you do want to kind of change. The rest of them are kind of personal preference. 
play audio on PC. It keeps any bugs from happening. And there you have it. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Sorry, it's sideways. I'm going to try to fix that within my video editing, but I'm not really exactly sure on how to fix that. So I'll probably just keep it because I'm on my phone doing this. Um, that's just the result of the video editing. And my phone's screen rotation. So in order for you to be able to export your games from Play Night to Sunshine, you need to set Sunshine to open as administrator. So here we're going to do that. Just follow along with me. Now you want to close out of Sunshine and then reopen it, which I already closed out of it. But if you need to close out of it, right click your taskbar menu and then right click Sunshine and hit Close Sunshine. And then reopen it. So next we're going to be adding games to Play Night and adding those games into Sunshine from Play Night. The easiest way ever. So right here I'm opening Sunshine again because I closed it. You don't have to do that. Open Play Night. You're going to want to click the controller icon on the top left. Click Add Games. Scan for your games. And then check. put a check mark beside any games that you have installed. If you can't find them, go to Browse and just browse wherever your game files are. The .exe file. And then you're going to want to select the games that you want to move to Sunshine. So click on the first one. Hit hold control and click on whatever game you want to move over. You go to extensions and click on the one that says sunshine and export games. Click OK. And then it'll be done. Now over to our phone. You will see all the games that you added as soon as you click it in. See? Now, there's a common bug while playing these games on Sunshine that you'll get a black screen every now and then. So go into your graphics settings and hit graphics, advanced graphics settings, and then turn off HAGS, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Turn that off and restart your PC. So really quick, I'm going to explain um, how you can... Stream your games remotely from anywhere in the world on your devices. Um, it works really good. Now, you will have just a little bit of network lag, but it's not it's negligible, especially if you're playing on 120 frames a second. So you want to go to your browser. Now, this is completely free. Um, you want to go to browser and type in zero tier one. Install that on your PC and then install it on your device. It also works for many, many devices. I have it currently on my uh, my laptop, my Android, and my Apple. Um, you install that. So I'm not gonna show you me doing it because you, wanna, you don't want the network ID to be shared, um, but you wanna go down here once you have it installed and click on zero tier, and then it'll show you your network ID. You want to save that and punch that in on your zero tier on whatever device you're wanting to stream to, whether it be your other laptop, your other PC, your Android, your iPhone, whatever. You want to type that in and then it, they should pair. You'll see that it'll, it says online on the, on the app. Um, once that's online, it works as a VPN. It'll show up as a VPN on your phone. You just open Moonlight and then there's your computer. And then you can reconnect to it from anywhere in the world. It's really nice. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope it helped you streamline your game streaming. I worked really hard on this video. It took me a very long time. So leave a comment down below if you have any problems, any questions. I'll be sure to take a look at it. So be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell on the bottom if you want to see more videos in the future.
And if you have any suggestions for any future videos you want me to make, leave them in the comments. I'll see you on the next one.